Paterbo Women's Volleyball opens up the season on August 16th at Evangel University. To help preview the season, I'm joined by Coach Ryan DeLong. Coach, um, yeah, I think there's an obvious question leading to the end of this season. You have to replace all America players, Natalie Guidel, Amelia Gran, and Bailey Gross. Who from this team, uh, 2018 squad, has really stepped up to the plate and helped fill the, some of those roles? You know, yeah, those three are, are tough to, to uh, replace, and I don't think any one person is going to replace any of them. It's going to be a, uh, by committee, and I think, you know, with, with the talent we have coming back, um, I, I think it's just right now we're trying to get some the new roles in, and, and, you know, it's really not trying to replace those three, so to say, but it's just trying to find the roles that uh, our, our girls this year are going to be in. And uh, we know there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of things that they did very well that, that we're going to continue to do, to do this year. Um, and so I think right now we're just competing and working hard and, and trying to figure out our roles. All right, I like your answer. Um, it's, it, you, you can't really compare it to last year's team. It's going to be its own uh, team by itself, and we're really, really excited to see what that looks like. Uh, one of your returners back from last year is a uh, senior, fifth-year senior, senior scout. Uh, she had an unfortunate ACL injury in September during one of the home tournaments. Uh, what has her been her road to recovery, um, and how has she been feeling coming back into this season? Yeah, it, it's obviously an ACL is, is a tough recovery, um, you know, and so it started out a little slow and, and, and whatnot, but uh, she's worked hard. She was in uh, all summer long, you know, really trying to get stronger, and, and, and uh, she got cleared in July, and, and since then she's been playing and she's competing, and she's taken, you know, 75, 80% of the reps ready so uh, she's ready to go I know she's hungry it's her last year um, you know so she's just gonna leave it out there on the floor so uh, it, it's exciting to get her back you know it was, a, it was a tough loss last year she was a big part of that, that squad and that, that senior group um, but to have her back um, is, is pretty special and it, it will help us obviously as we move on throughout the year and I think she'll just continue to get stronger she's not going to be 100% in, in the first weekend but uh, you know by November uh, that's when she needs to be 100% one of your newcomers that uh, highlights uh, your, your, your incoming class is from Shanghai, China, Lady Ashu. Uh, what has been her transition to the NAIA, to America, and how has she really gelled with this team? She's been unbelievable. She actually came uh, last uh, winter, so she, she spent all semester at, at Turbo last year and, and kind of got connected with the coaching staff and the girls, um, and it, it's been exciting. Uh, you know, she, she speaks very fluent English, so there's no communication issues there. Um, she's fun, and, and, and she's related real well already to, to girls and, and, uh, and whatnot. So I think it's, it's going to be exciting for us. It's a different culture, obviously, uh, so there is some learning period there, no doubt. Um, but but it, it, she's exciting. She, just, she brings a little different uh, spice to our, our game, and, and uh, we're excited to see her, you know, what she does see on the floor here come in, in just a few weeks. Yeah, it's a really fun personality that really brings a new um, edge to this team. Um, to kind of pre preview the season, uh, as you walk through the locker room doors, newly renovated locker room, um, there's you, you, can, you can't miss a plaque that says Saturday night. Now I know you have a theme for every, every year. What does this theme mean going forward? Well, you know, it's a theme that our girls and, and our mental toughness coach kind of made up and, and talked about and, and uh, you know obviously the obvious thing is we want to play Saturday night and that's that's a that's a goal for everyone Saturday night's the final um, you know uh, down at Sioux City uh, the, the championship game but you know Saturday night is just it is just something that you know we, we got to focus on um, you know every day that we go we got to we got to make good decisions we got to uh, make sure we'll, we'll you know we're practicing hard we're putting good things into our body we'll good nutrition, all that type of stuff goes into, um, you know, ultimately uh, finishing our goal. And, and, and you know, uh, Saturday night, it just happens to be something that kind of uh, got started here in, in, in preseason and it kind of stuck. And, and so I think the girls um, are just uh, using that as some, some motivation to, to work hard every single day in the gym and, and, and make good decisions and, and continue to get better. And then hopefully, uh, you know, everything falls into place and that might be a down the road, if we focus on our process, Saturday night might, might be something that we do uh, come, in, come, come December. That's a great mindset to have come into the season. Uh, you, uh, you host two 
home tournaments this year, uh, first of which August 24th and 25th, and the second of which being September 7th and 8th, right here at the Viterbo uh, Varsity Athletics Center. Um, you, you meet one of your old uh, opponents you, you had in the pool play last year, a lady of the Lake University from Texas, uh, but kind of preview some of the opponents and some of the competition that you'll be facing in those two uh, tournaments. Yeah, it's going to be a mixture of, of opponents, uh, some that we saw down at uh, Sioux City last year, uh, Morningside and Our Lady. Uh, there's probably a few others that I'm missing, but uh, St. Xavier out of, out of Illinois. Uh, but we got teams from, you know, Indiana and, and all over the place. So it's a, it's a good mixture. It's a, a, lot of, a lot of teams coming from a long ways away. And so I, it will just get us ready. It'll be good to see our, you know, good to see the new look V Hawks. I think uh, that will be in August uh, for our fans and whatnot. Um, and then obviously in September we'll back here, you know, a week off, and then we'll back right here in September again. So um, I, I think it will be good competition. Uh, teams that, like I said, we saw in the National Tournament Morningside. Um, so we'll be we'll be competing hard, and we'll compete hard right, you know, right from day one all the way through. So uh, you know, yeah, it's always good to play at home. Uh, we have a great atmosphere. Check out the new look with Turbo Women's Volleyball team uh, as they open up the season on the road in Springfield, Missouri at Evangel University. But they open up at home on September or August 24th against Cardinal Church at noon, and then later that night uh, against Morning Sign College at 6 p.m. right here at the Varsity Athletic Center. Thanks, Ryan, for joining us. Thank you.